What's up everybody, I'm Seasons from Warbits.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about the FPC. We're going to talk about how to route the FPC globally and also how to route each of the different paths into separate insert tracks in your mixer. So I'm going to bring my step sequencer up. As you can see I already loaded my FPC plugin in the step sequencer. I also have some MIDI data in the piano roll. So let me bring my FPC up. Also make sure you have your channel settings up and I'm going to bring my mixer. Okay, as you can see I have some sounds already loaded in the pads of the FPC. So let me play some so you can see. I have a kick, a hat, a snare, an open hat and many other sounds in here. There are two ways to route the FPC. The first of them is routing them globally. If you route the FPC globally, you will route all the sounds in the pads, in both bank A and bank B, all the sounds coming out from the FPC. So to route the FPC globally, you go to the channel settings, as you would do with any other plugin. You go to the FX slot, and in the display, you turn that number up or down to the insert track that you want to route all your FPC. So for now I'm going to bring it to insert number one. I already named here FPC Global so you can see and I'm going to play this. As you can see from the visual feedback of the white tracks feature in FL Studio I can see that my FPC was effectively routed. Okay, so now we already covered how to route the FPC globally. Now we're going to talk about routing each of these sounds global, each of these sounds individually. Okay, so here, for example, I have a kick. Let's say I want to route my kick to insert number two. In order to do that, I click my kick, then go to output and I select number one. The output in the FPC will no, not always work as the channel settings output does. What happens here is that if you route your FPC globally, these numbers in here will just add to the global position. That means, for example, if you have your FPC globally routed to insert number one and then go to your kick and set it to output number one, that means it will move one insert track to the right of the global routing. So as you can see, my kick is already here. If I go to my hi-hat and I click it, yeah, this is a shaker actually. If I go to my shaker and set it to number two, it will move two insert tracks from the global routing, as you can see in here. If I go to my snare and I go here to output again, hit the display and go to number three it will be routed to number four and so on so I'm gonna just keep routing this and that's it. let's see we have our kick in insert number two we have our shaker in number three we have a snare in number four we have a open head in insert five and in insert 6 we have the symbol. We also have here this other open head in number 7. So what I want you to understand in here is that this global routing is the one that basically controls where these sounds from the pads will land on, where will they be routed. So if I go to number 2 in here with my sounds already routed, you will see that each of these individual sounds will move one slot to the to the right. So you can see my kick now is routed to number three, my hat to number four, my snare to number five, and so on. And if I keep this at zero, that means that my FPC is not globally routed. That means that my output will start from number one. So you can deduct from this that my kick will land in number one 
my shaker in number two, my snare in number three, and that's what happens really. So you can see here by the visual feedback. So now I'm going to play all these sounds. I want to bring this back to number one so you can see that it was effectively routed. Okay, that was all for today. Here's seasons from warbits.com. Stay tuned for more tutorials.